Another child has died by gunfire in Kansas City this morning. Children in that neighborhood surrounded the Jackson County prosecutor and other officials, asking them why when they arrived to the scene this morning. 41 Action News reporter Ali Hoxie is live near 4th and Elmwood, where the scene is. She spoke with a woman who lived in the home with that boy. Amy, that's right. Police say it was a gunshot wound to the head that killed that four year old boy. Police were at this home behind me for hours wrapping up their investigation, and they just wrapped it up. Today, I spoke with a woman who lives in the home and who watched everything unfold. Very energetic. He's very smart, charismatic, and loved his. Action figures. Monique Smith sat in blue scrubs waiting to be let back inside the home that is now the center of a murder investigation. Police took her clothes after finding blood on them. She says she woke up around 7 a.m. to arguing, and when she went to see what was happening, she found speckles of blood on her arm. It didn't dawn on me what was going on until I made it outside and I saw all the blood. And that's when I noticed, okay, he really did get shot then. Police arrived. They saw the mother of the child cradling her son. The boy was rushed to the hospital where he died a short time later. Smith says she does not know who shot the boy. I don't know who did it. I really don't care. I just care about the fact that my nephew is gone. She says the shooting happened in the bedroom. Police took the mother and boyfriend into custody for questioning. Smith says all she wants is to see her best friend make it through this terrible tragedy. To have two kids less than 24 hours ago and now you have one, that dramatic change will mess up anybody. Police have not formally charged anyone at this time. Reporting live in Kansas City, Allie Hoxie, 41 Action News.